Hey, hey everybody. Grand evening, grand day, grand morning to some people. Um Day four. <laughs> day four. Raw food challenge. How y'all feeling? What y'all eating on? I ate real light today. I just only had a salad. I don't really eat so much. So that's why y'all never really see a lot of pictures of me eating. Because I don't really eat so much. I eat a lot of fruit. And just, you know, a little bit of salad here and there. But today, I wanted to share something with you guys. I hope you guys can hear me because I don't have my speaker. And I'm at a friend's house. And I was excited because she had a backyard. And I was like, oh my gosh, you have a backyard. I'm going outside. And I'm just sitting in the grass right now. And I'm just feeling mother. And I'm looking at the stars, which is just really ourselves. It's just deep. But can everybody hear me? Yeah, I keep that fire burning, girl. I'm on, I'm on fire. Um... I just want to know if you guys can hear me before I go in about these, uh, these, uh, portals. I'm going to talk about these, uh, a portal I've seen, and I also have a picture of it. Um, so I really want to show you guys the picture of the portals. Um, you can clearly see that it's not a cloud, and it's like a stream of white light. It's actually two of them. So, um, hold on, let me build up my eye. Because y'all need to hear this. Y'all need to hear this. Let's build out this one. I had to come outside because my homegirl was cooking some some beef. My um sense of smell is getting really keen. You know, you can taste everything, you can smell everything. That raw food challenge. I don't think y'all can hear me. Oops. It's low, right? Okay, tell me if you can hear me now. Like, y'all might can't see my face, but at least y'all are going to get the message. So please just give me a thumbs up if you guys can hear me right now. I'm just going to speak like this. You're not going to you're not gonna see my face, but you're going to feel what I'm saying. What about now? Can you hear me now? Is it still low? Because I'm kind of like... I'm speaking into the um to the microphone. Okay, I'm pretty sure you guys can hear me right now. So um I want to share a couple of things with you guys. This thing is just mixed with everything. I can't make videos for each individual talks like stuff just comes in, you know, so I'm just gonna let it all out, guys. So first I want to speak about the the gateway and the energy portals opening up. So tonight my mother tells me, but I haven't did any research about it. She tells me that it's supposed to be some type of meteor showers tonight. Some type of meteor showers. So upon driving today, I looked up into the sky. And it was two double lights, like a light strip. And I also I have some pictures. I'm going to post it. Now, I was driving, so I really couldn't get a clear picture. I tried to get my friend to take it. But you definitely can see. I tried to zoom in. You can definitely see the white light. You can definitely tell it's not a cloud. Um, just judging on how the clouds was positioned in the picture. You know, you just have to see it. It's really dope. But what it was is it was a portal. There's portals opened up. We're going to start seeing clouds and shit floating, looking like ships. Like the veil is piercing. I know sometimes people see in the corner of their eyes, they'll see like, um, good. In the corner of your eyes, you might, you know, you might turn. You might look and you might see something go past. Some people even see orbs. Some people look straight on and see stuff running past. The veil is being lifted. Everything is coming to the surface. Our emotions, our abilities, our true purpose, everything is coming to a to to a surface, you guys. And it was just so beautiful just to see those portals like you guys, I think you should just come outside. I really think something's just telling me, if you guys are just at the house or wherever you at, just go outside because this is what called me. That's why I'm out here. I wasn't even going to go live until t- t- tomorrow. Something told me to go live and come outside. Come outside, you guys, and look out. 
or to the stars. There's going to be a message there. And the message is going to be different for everybody. But if you can, get outside, get your feet in the ground, look out into the sky. There's going to be a message. And so that's what I have received, and that's why I'm here to, to tell you guys and also to show you the pictures of the portal. Now, one thing I, I will also, it will also I would like to um, add in is um, that with everything coming to the surface and with everybody purging and cleansing and some people are coming into their powers, like, this stuff ain't no joke. Don't rush yourself to really, I mean, get your body, what I'm saying is get your body cleansed first before you want to rush into the science. Because what I'm starting to see is people are not getting their temple right and their lower chakras right. And they're not really eating right. They're not vibrating right. And they're practicing this, this science. And they know the technique behind it. But since they're not operating at a high level, their intentions is there. So i just been peeping game and just watching stuff and been seeing, like, you got to really watch out with this, you know, this this this, this ancient knowledge and stuff. Like, um, you got to make sure that your body, oh, man, I'm getting, like, a light electric um, shocks through my, uh, my feet right now, through my body. Um, damn, yeah, my bad. Um. Well, I forgot what I was saying. I was just channeling. Um, oh yeah. So, um, yeah. So this 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 energy is is nothing to be taken like like a game or anything. Like, just know that if you're trying to use this stuff and like trying to use it against somebody or harm people, that is gonna come to you three times, ten times full. <laughs> it's gonna come to you. So, just really make sure that your mind, body, and soul. Because we're tapping into our gifts. We are really tapping into our gifts. And the best thing about it is when you when we tap into our gifts, we don't notice it. So we always need confirmation. Confirmation, confirmation. We need somebody to tell us. We need that confirmation. But when you tap into the knowing and know how powerful you are, ooh, we baby. Dang. The feel of that. <laughs> the feel of that. And it's such a rush that when I felt it, I was like, I was like, oh shit, if this got into the wrong hands, like people really start tapping into this. And then I start seeing it. So that's why I'm here to say just really watch, you know, getting into this and just just watch people. Just really watch people, yo. Um I be watching people do spell other people like people wires fell in and, and just doing some crazy stuff yeah so just keep you know keep your eye out people talk some good stuff but how do they make you feel when you watch certain people how do they really make you feel study them when they're talking are they genuinely happy or are they are they aggressive are they controlling are they pushy how are they study that but your, you know, your energy and your intuition will never lead you down about a person. But sometimes that ego can get in the way. And sometimes some of us can be so lost that we just want to go to any information. Now, I'm not saying you can't learn from any information. You can learn from a crackhead. Everything is a lesson. Me sitting out here right now talking to you guys is a lesson. It's a cause and effect. So, yeah, just keep your eyes open for that and seeing, and seeing that around and stuff. And one, and this is the last thing, because I had to get so much out today, guys. I had so much to share with you guys today, because I know that some of the stuff that I'm saying, at least one of you is resonate with this, and you're going through this, and you need to, I need to be able to share my experience, because my experience is your experience. I am you and you are me. Something happened to me today, guys. My mother got rushed to the emergency room, and I was on my way to the gym, and I got a call on my, on my phone, and it was her friend. And she told me, she was like, hey, hold on, you guys. She was like, hey, um, you know, your mom got rushed to the emergency room. Um, I was like, what? You know, really? So, you know, first thing I try to automatically do, I felt that anxiety try to come in, and I felt that, like, panicky. Automatically, I hiukus that motherfucker. 
I knock that negative thought out my head so fast, it's going to come through because you do have human emotions. But you got to knock that fear out the way. So I kept, I had to, don't, don't, it was, it was easier said than done, you know, I had to, you know, I had to release, you know, I had to go off a little bit because I was like, you know, I know she went to the emergency room because she had tightness of the chest, like her chest was tight and, you know, she had a tingly feeling in her arm and, you know, she couldn't breathe. So I'm thinking like, whoa, whoa. And I'm thinking, you know, it's because of, you know, certain things, certain things that I knew my mother was going through. I knew that's why she felt like that. So it kind of brought me in a rage. It brought that rage out. So I sat back. I examined myself. I examined why are you feeling like this. Calm down. Like I had to really coach myself. And after doing that and getting to the hospital, I noticed, I seen the true meaning behind why it happened. I didn't let my human emotion get me all roused up and all scared and jittery. I had to look at the big picture and the big picture was that was a wake up call for her to see that it's time to turn her life around. So I seen the metaphysical reason behind the action instead of taking so much human emotion and so much getting mad, getting mad when people are getting shot. I'm not saying it's not messed up when somebody gets shot. I'm not saying this and that. All I'm saying is, yes, people are getting shot. Yes, there's white police shooting people. But stop and think and ask yourself. There's black police, there's Chinese police, there's Mexican police killing everybody else. You can't even see that it's a damn game. They show you what they want to show you. And you getting all fucking riled up over something so fake and they harvesting your freaking energy. People coming on my page, white man. If somebody, let me tell y'all something. I'm, yeah, I'm going to go on live. Okay, I'll be in there. Um, let me tell you something. I'm, everybody has their opinion. Everybody's entitled to what they think and what they feel. But when you come on my page, and you on my brand, you on my page. It's certain stuff that I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna keep on my page, especially some terror, some some white man, this white man, that. We need to rise above the physical. We need to rise above the physical, because when we learn and know thyself, they ain't gonna be able to touch us. We so in our emotions, so freaking emotional. So let me bring this story back. I'm sorry, like I'm trying to calm down. So anywho, um. And I'm sorry to throw y'all like that. But um, so anyway, my mom, you know, me and my mom, we released. We, we you know, we talked. I, I explained to her. I was like, look, mom, we're going to get you better. I'm a healer. I'm a healer, and I can't even heal you. And it was because she didn't open herself up, too. Don't get me wrong. She started changing stuff. You know, she went on a diet for a month. She lost weight. She said she wanted to do yoga. Like, like she was cleaning up stuff, you know. But it's just the stress that we have to get. So the reason why she was there is because of her stress. It gave her heart, this, uh, like, you know, it made her feel tightness of the chest because of the nerves, because of the pressure. So I wanted to share this with you guys because I want you guys to know stress can kill. Stress can kill. We just have to wake up. Stress is connected to fear. That's where stress comes from. You get stressed out when you can't pay your water bill or your light bill because it's the fear of having your lights or your water cut off. You get stressed when you can't make it to work on time. That's the fear of losing your job. Fear. Not knowing thyself. Not being in tune with self. Not being in tune with mother. Not being the flow. Not being in alignment, not being balanced, it will get to you. This 3D reality will get to you. It will because you're too physically in it. Yes, we are humans having a human experience. Have your human experience, but see the bigger picture behind it. Wow. So... Me and my mother, and I know I keep taking it off. I just, that subject right there is like, I just really want y'all to hear this. Like, I got to really touch the minds because some people are just so in a hump, in a, in a box. We got all these little boxes. These are like video game levels. You got level one, level two, or see, like hopscotch. It's just boxes. You jump into different boxes. And sometimes people get stuck in one, one box. Jump the fuck out of the box. Damn. But anyway, let me wrap it back up to my mother. So, um, me and my mother, we had a really good talk, and um, we released, we cried. 
I told her things that affected my childhood. She told me why she reacted in that manner. I understood her story. She understood mine. We cried. We talked. We laughed. We released. And all of this had to happen with my mother for a wake-up call for, for both of us and for her to turn her life around and really get into this. And so I want you guys to know that you could do the same thing. You have the power. When I'm doing, going live every day, talking to you guys, channeling the information, all of you guys can do this too. I want you guys to start learning how to do this. I can't do this by myself. It's we. We. It's not me. I am you. We are here together. That's why I'm doing this. Because I need all of myself to connect. Because when all of us connect, we all become powerful. That's why it's so easy for some of y'all that's doing this raw food challenge to do it. After y'all get done doing this raw food challenge, y'all not even going to like me. Some of you may eat it slowly, but some of y'all going to already have that seed implanted to eat good. Because everybody's waking up. We are one body. Think about a body. When cells start working in the body and when DNA starts working in the body, that body becomes stronger and bigger and it functions more. See us as being the other 90% of a big God brain. When we work together, we build more to that God brain. We can access 20%. We can access 30%. When we get to 100, we reach that one consciousness. We are all one then. We must connect. We have to connect. Wake up. Wake up, my children. Wake up. Shake that fucking slumber off of you. That damn fear. And I know it's easy said and done because I'm not perfect. I even go live with you guys when I'd be like, Hey, look, guys, let me tell you how fear got me. But the thing is, I am able to realize the problem. I'm able to realize the fear, analyze it, analyze my life, go back two weeks from now, go back five months from now, because I'm a scientist. I take note of my life. You guys are scientists. We are all scientists. If it takes for you to get a damn journal, to write every fucking mood, and I'm sorry, and if y'all are getting offended by my cursing, you can get off my page. I'm just going on, I'm just channeling in information. Everything is coming in right now. So if you feel offended by the cursing, you already know what it is, okay? So I'm just, I'm really channeling in a lot of stuff right now. It's like I'm, oh man, I'm just feeling you guys. I just really want you guys to just wake up. <laughs> I mean, that's just the main thing. I need your help. I need your help for reflections, reflections. I need your help. I really do. We're so powerful together. Unstoppable. Unstoppable. We are the ancient Egyptians reincarnated to sit back and look what happened to our work and to rewake again. That's us. We re we we read our rewriting history do you not see this do you not see what we're doing right now is rewriting history our kids and our kids kids and our kids 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 we are making a difference let's rewrite history let's make a global change let's Tap into our powers and cleanse these waters. Let's tap into these powers and heal thyself. You can do it. Like that, like that, um, what's that, uh, water boy? You can do it. You can do it. I think that's going to be my slogan. You can do it. <laughs> Like, dead up. Like, shoot, word is bond. You can do it. I know it's, I know it's like when I told y'all about creating the deities, it's really that simple. Let me go ahead and share that experience because I'm just, I'm, I'm just feeling it tonight, y'all. And I want y'all to feel it. So I went live. I told you guys how to create deities, right? And so I created four different deities. I created this deity to help me pass this driver's test tomorrow. 
because I haven't had a driver's license for a year. You know, I was trying to follow, you know, I was just like, fuck them rules. But I'm in this 3D matrix, so some stuff I got to operate to, to just be in the flow. So um, I created a deity for wisdom and for understanding. And do you know, yesterday I did the practice test. I did it like three or four times. I kept failing, failing, failing. Do you know I took the practice test two times today and passed it? I felt that deity. I talked to that deity. I slept with that deity. I'm going to go home and feed that deity. A deity is just energy. Energy never dies. You just got to feed it. You just got to speak to it. You got to speak it into existence. That deity that I created gave me an understanding and the wisdom and the knowledge to just already know which answers to give. Create these deities, yo. It's really that simple. We are in a video game. We are in a matrix. We are in a computer program system. We are in an avatar in a 3D realm. See it in any perspective you want to see it. But know that we are not this physical body. Okay? Wow. I gave a lot today, you guys. I'm going I'm to continue to chill outside. I'm actually, I'm here to see somebody, but like I said, when I get that call, I go. And when they say go live, I go live. Whatever self, source, God, Allah, Buddha, nature, whatever you want to call that label, that force, that's what I listen to. I love you guys, sincerely, because you are me. And I'm you. And if I love myself, I got to love y'all. Take care. Have a wonderful night. Day five tomorrow, raw food challenge. We getting it in. Stay grounded. Make sure you're drinking your water because water is going to keep you um, keeping the toxins. Oh, snap, y'all. Stuff, stuff just, I'm in this open field in the backyard and something just came in and bounced back out. It was all black. It's live at the end of the night. I don't even know what I was saying. Oh, yeah. So drink the water so it can flush the toxins and um, stay in the sun. And if you journal, 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 journal how you're feeling. Journal how you're feeling. The more you stay hydrated, the more you stay flush, the more you keep eating the fruit, the more you keep being in the sun, the more you keep getting grounded, that loopiness feeling and all of that is going to subside, subside, subside. <laughs> Because what's happening right now is your vibration is so high, you're leaving out of your body. I leave out of my body always. And so I know the feeling because I experience it. I have to ground. Also, when you really start getting in high vibration, you're going to start having to stretch a lot. Because your energy needs to be moving. You can't be like me. I always have to stretch because it's like I get stiffness in my, you know, my back and my hips. Like I got to just move, got to move. And you become more flexible too, right? You get, you get childlike. You get like a baby. Babies are flexible. You get like a baby. You even start to look younger. I swear I looked in the mirror two night two was it two mornings ago. And I was like, damn. I looked even younger. Get childlike. Get childlike, yo. Get real childlike. I gotta go because they come into the door. I love you guys. Bye bye.